So this is the wrap up video for the uh, Sear Dumbbell event at the 2016 Arnold Classic. And going into the contest, this is one of the events I was really looking forward to. In the past, there's always been only one dumbbell option. So it was basically a, if you, you got it, you got reps. If not, you failed and that was it. And this year they presented a heavier dumbbell option, which was 300 pounds. So that's a huge uh, jump from the 274 pounds, which was the weight last year. Um, but they kept that 274 dumbbell option in. So anybody that couldn't press the 300 or didn't want to try to press the 300 could go straight for the 274 and then get reps there um, if they weren't strong enough to get the 300. So I um, restructured my training quite a bit for this event. Um, and, you know, I have... Uh, dumbbells to train with one of them's loadable well actually both of them are loadable um but one of them has some melted lead in it uh to make it heavy enough because with the lead shot i couldn't make it heavy enough so you know i i varied my training around quite a bit um with this event but uh those dumbbells are, are tough they're the the one with the lead shots a little bit more stable for me but the one that has the melted lead um it uh it definitely is a challenge because the, the lead is a little bit loose in the ends of the dumbbell. So as you throw it up and try to press it, it, it moves around a little bit and it was really hard in training um, overall. I, uh, I trained it heavy though, and I, I feel like the carryover has always been there um, for dumbbell. That's always been a good event um, for me. And I had tied for first place last year on the 274 pound dumbbell, and I knew coming in, that I could do more weight. I've always um, thought that I could do quite a bit more with the dumbbell. So, you know, when the 300 was announced, I was really excited about that. And that was definitely my goal going into the contest. Um, you know, going into this event at the actual competition was, I had just done the log uh, press and, and was pretty frustrated with myself after that performance. So, um, going into the uh the dumbbell i wanted to do something i i basically my back was kind of against the wall i needed to win the dumbbell uh to get get some points back after the log so um you know going in i knew that uh every time i put it up to my shoulder i needed to get a down call and so i started out my first rep felt so easy um it was crazy how easy it felt um i was kind of expecting it to feel a little bit harder and so I told myself in between those first, that, that first rep and the second that I needed to take enough time, not get in a rush. Um, because at that point in the, the competition, um, uh, Mateus had done uh, two reps uh, leading up. So I knew that I just needed to beat that two reps because I was fairly confident that Zadrunas, um, I, to be fair, I didn't think he would be able to get a rep and, and uh, you know, I didn't know how many he could do, but I knew he couldn't do three. So it was one of those where I just kind of set my sights on three, pressed my second one really, really easily, and uh, just faced the clock out. And I just, I went for the third with, I think about, you know, 20 seconds left or something like that. And um, pressed the third really, really easily. I feel like if, if um, I was put under a little bit more pressure, I feel like I probably could have done four or five in the time limit. Um, you know, it's, it's hard to say. I'm, hap I'm really happy with the three um, just because you don't know how that event's going to go. And I didn't have a per perfect piece of equipment to train with for that. So I'm happy with the carryover from training to the actual competition uh, with that event. It, it was huge, you know, and, and um, dumbbell is, is an interesting event. It's very, very challenging um, to get good at it. And I, I have to put in a, a lot of work overall to be good with that event. So, you know, it, it, I did what I had to do. I got my threes. Adrunas ended up getting one rep uh, counted. So he, he got third place on that um, event. And uh, Mateus was ridiculous with two. Um, I think his performance on that was, was outstanding. So, you know, it's something where there was three guys that got that 300 pound dumbbell, which you know, I think going into the contest, it was kind of a question whether anybody would be able to press that just because it was such a um, big weight jump uh, from the 274. So I was really happy with that. Um, you know, I think, like I said, I think there's definitely some more reps in the tank on that event if I need them. And, uh, you know, we'll see next year where they go. I can't see them bringing um, 
a heavier dumbbell than the 300. Um, and I think that's, that's definitely a good challenge, but you know, if they want to bring a heavier one, then I'll train for that and, and um, hopefully be able to press that as well. So, you know, who knows where the limit really is um, on that event for me. I, um, and it's nice to be able to say that, you know, I feel like uh, going into the contest, it's, it's, uh, it's nice to have the carryover um, from training to the actual competition and having a really good performance on the stage when it mattered. Um, Cause I felt like going into the dumbbell, like I said, my back was really against the wall um, and that I needed to win that. So I was happy with the performance overall. And um, yeah, I feel like the training, everything I did to prepare for that carried over very well. And I, you know, looking back, I don't think there's a lot the, um, that I could have changed um, getting ready for it. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm, all I can say is I'm really happy. So I think we'll, we'll end it there. And um, the next event we'll, we'll cover with this wrap up will be the super yoke.